Hey there, buddy. Andrew Anderson here, and uh, I'm going to make this short, sweet. I've got a longer version in the private group. So this is the new big, and if you've been paying attention to this channel or Facebook or whatever social media that you have to see me on, you know I've been big on Bing for quite a while. Privately for about eight or nine, ten months. Publicly about probably four or five. I've been definitely branded up. So this is one of the reasons why. So we got involved with OpenAI. I think it's almost going on two years ago. We had early, early access to the stuff, including chat TPD3, chat GP4, and five is going to blow your mind. And four people still don't have a handle on what's going on with it. And we're also involved in another project that I cannot talk about, but it is mind-blowingly cool. And it's going to change the game on so many different levels. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to be perfectly frank. If you're a business and you do not get in front of this, I will say, and I'm going to say this publicly, within three years, 40% of all the businesses will be out of business. Within three years, 50% of all the agencies will be out of business. Within three years, 50 to 60 to 70% of all the SEO companies will be out of business. And I'm going to show you what's going on here. Now, here's the thing. So we all grew up, we didn't know how to use a computer. And so we didn't understand it, but we learned, right? And the AIs that are going on right now, it's the same thing. You cannot stick your head in the sand. However, some people play at lift service, but I would say like 98, 99% of the businesses really have no clue. And that includes the agencies and everybody else. So I'm not throwing them under the bus by themselves. But we felt that as an agency, not just SEO, we happen to do SEO and some other things, that it was, we had a moral obligation to keep in front of this stuff for our clients. And I mean, we focus on this. We have thousands of man hours of this so that we can become a master of it as much as you can, as fast as it's growing. And the thing that it is, the more you know, the more you realize how much you don't know, which is kind of cool and a good way to, I mean, I've had this much fun in years. So anyway, I'm going to show you something that's going on with Bing. This is why Google's quaking in their boots. And this is why we've been so heavily pushing them a lot through our clients. We got everybody pretty much set up the way they should be to take advantage of this. So this is why Google is having issues. And they're probably two or three years behind just with what OpenAI is going on. And then what Musk is going on, because I don't know if you know this or not, Elon Musk was one of the founders of OpenAI. He got disinvolved to concentrate on Tesla, that didn't mean he didn't do his own thing. He's got his own quote unquote AI that I think is gonna blow anything that's going on with chat GPT-4 or yeah. five away, but we'll have to wait and see on that. And hopefully if we get super lucky and uh, everything goes right, we might get access to that early too, which would be fantastic. So back to current state of affairs here. So instead of doing this, let's say, give me a good keto Die. All right. So we've got that there in keto. What are some, how do I track my carbs? All right. So this is what came back, right? You don't see any search results here. There's some down here, but this is the first one that came back. What are some keto snacks? So this is where it comes in. I'm going to put this, here we go. And then welcome to new Bing, yada, 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 based on meals for keto beginners. What are some keto snacks? And then here's where it starts generating answers for you. So hard boiled eggs, cheese, olives, fatty cuts, sliced bacon, nuts, very low carbs, beef turkey, dark chocolate. Okay. And then learn more from these. These are suggested. This is where we are crushing it. But let's go back on to, uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious about this one myself. There aren't really any keto friendly fruit and it's going out right now and it's fine so avocado i guess the fruit tomatoes lemons strawberries blackbirds raspberries plums kiwi fruit these fruits are low carb and then so we can do this and fruits and berry on keto it's taking me to the suggested area let me see here I move this out of the way hold on a second push this down a little bit and it opens up in a new tab which is great so um let's see here and then super fat, December 2019. So what's happening is the suggested searchers called search box optimization is going to trump all the SEO. Okay. And we've been doing it for a while and we're one of the few agencies that can do this. So we can get you our clients into the search box. When someone types in a search, you get to be one of these people. 
and it trumps all the other stuff that the SEO companies are doing. So if you want to take advantage of that and you're a brick and mortar business or you're a consultant, let us know. We can help you out. And here's the kicker is once these get filled up and you get to be number one or number two, and a lot of times there's only one, you're in there like Flynn unless you mess this thing up. It does take maintenance, but this trumps out all of the other organic quote unquote rankings. And this is just part of what Bing is doing. And with open AI, it's absolutely crazy. So they've got sync and they've got a ton of other features. And I'm not saying their, their new service is horrible, but that's between you and me, but tons and tons more people are going over to Microsoft edge. And I used to hate it. It used to be a laughable thing, but they've leapfrogged on um, Chrome and Safari, believe it or not. And they're picking up users really quickly because it's super easy to use and people find this out and it's fast and it doesn't mess up very well. Plus with the new search system, let's see here. Let's go to, this is Bing related searches, hide their greeting. Here we go. What does this mean? How should you use it? It's just, let me see if I can get back in here and get it to keep talking, learn more. So there's two of 15. And let's see here, ask me anything. So and you notice I can type up to 2000 words in here, right? Hopefully you can see this, there we go. And so it's going out to the AI right now and it's going to give me a response. It should give me something like that. Here we go. And this is it. So that was the AI telling me what's going on. Get your site index, tag category of site, use SEO keywords, proper context, connect to social work, avoid black hat techniques. Duh. Right. Even if you don't advertise on Bing, you'll show up in search results. So local search with Bing ads. Yeah. This is why we're doing it. So write a report. can do this here. Red report on how to lose business by not using AI. Oh, see, it's not hundred percent perfect yet. And they don't have the full on version. What? Or advantages. In case you've never seen it before of using AI. See if it responds here. And so this is a brand new version account. And so it hasn't learned a lot from me yet. There you go. So it eliminates human error. 24 seven availability, unbiased decision-making. This isn't true, but we're not going there. Repetitive jobs, cost production, data acquisition and analysis. Yeah, I can also come streamline daily process and ways of giving trends, forecast growth. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, so anyway, I could keep going. So that's it. This is just a teeny tiny tip of the iceberg. Hope this helps as long as you're not an A to Z. And if you want to get into our insiders at the longer crowbar, would love to see you in there. I will not be posting as much stuff to Facebook anymore for obvious reasons. I have a moral obligation to our clients not to share this stuff too widely, but I am looking for 50 to hundred founders in various different businesses. So when you come in here, brick and mortars, I'd love brick and mortars. We'd love to show you how to take advantage of this stuff. Consultants or coaches too would be a great fit for this. And we're going to start sharing more of what we've got with this. I'm going to have another group for my agency friends, the few of them that I have, but we won't be showing this very widely because it would be stupid to give away the competitive advantage, right? And you're not stupid and neither are we. So we're going to keep this kind of close to the vest. We ask you not to share the information that we share inside there with you, even though it is very valuable or because it is. So anyway, Andrea is signing off for today. Hope you're having a blast. This is going to change everything. The other projects that they have that they don't talk about that we're involved with. This stuff is mind blowing, but it's absolutely amazing what's going on. I can't explain it big enough how fast things are going to change. Three years, you've got to get your act together probably in the next six months. The people that do, it's going to be like a race car between a Porsche 911 or filling your supercar and a guy on a bicycle. It's not even going to be a contest. I mean, you're going to be able to go a hundred miles and the guy it's, it's going to be getting off the starting line. Well, I actually, I don't think that's a good analogy. I think it would be a bicycle 
and a private jet. That's the difference is going to be. So you have to bicycle all the way across America and the jet has to fly across America. That's how big of an advantage having AI and automating your processes are going to be. People have no idea. It's 10x faster, 10x more change in a shorter period of time than ever before in the history of man. It's kind of crazy. So anyway, hope you have a great day. This is fun stuff. You are smart enough to get ahead of this and take advantage of it because I want to see you thrive. It would be fun. It's a great feeling to help other people out. And there's a boatload of money to be made, just saying, between you and me. Like you could double, triple, quadruple, whatever you're making now if you get ahead of this because the competition is not going to be there anymore. You can scoop it up and you can help the customers better. So anyway, that's it. Andrew needs to sign off. If you want to check us out, go to thelongercrowbar.com or YouTube channel, The Longer Crowbar, or go to iqmarketers.com. Either one will work. See you.